tip, 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 tip. That's the light. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, it's so satisfying. So, the Mega RV runs. So, we spent some time in the previous video dividing this area out to some basic sections. We have bedrooms on either side. This one, we're taking the unconventional approach of making it vertical for space saving reasons. Genuine stairs to the second floor, which we have to kind of duck a little to get in. Additional bedding here with a window for funsies. A second story, which I don't know what to make of it. I have to cap this area out and uh, maybe extend it out a little further. Finally was able to make it go. It idles just nicely. It's a uh, big. We're looking at a good solid uh, or eight. What was it? Ten, ten cylinders. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now eighteen, eighteen cylinders of good power. So far, it's it's pretty solid. All right. First of all, let's go cleaning up a few things here. One, you. We got to cap you. Good symmetry's on. I want it to be on for this one. Go just keep that bit of headroom right on and give me that corner pyramid and cap it. There we go. Righteous. Next, we need more windows. Ah, uh, yeah. There you go. It's going to make the place feel a lot more <laughs> open and roomy. Alrighty, look at that. Oh, that feels so good. Just like, ooh, windows is what we need. We need air. Oh, shoot. Let's put some windows in the front, too. So having these windows really does make it feel better. So this is looking okay. Gonna keep this frame for now. Need to cap this. Okay, so we got a plenty of windowage here. This is looking good. Uh, let me get rid of the symmetry real quick and uh, get a proper door. Okay, no, put back the symmetry. There we go. Let me get a sliding door. La la da 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 da. da, da. Here we go. How's that look on the other side? Brilliant. Okay, so we got the cabin area. I will add unique features to this cabin area, but for now, because this is gonna, these new unique features are gonna require quite a bit of coding. So I'm gonna leave that later. Let me go and round this out a little bit. There you go. Now you don't look so ugly. Okay, let me cap this up. All right, right. Now this part is gonna be a little different. I have an idea. Okay. Robot door. This should be just dandy. I don't think there's going to be any issues there. All right, let's make a little bit of logic for it. 
yeah. And then we get rid of symmetry because we don't need it. And we go look in our goodie box. Oh golly. Mech door controller. Yay, I'll just, just plop it here. Yay! Battery from that. You toggle. Number. For you and for you. Do I got battery on you? I do not. Okay. Well. This is looking very cyber trucky. But okay. Oh, what happened to the doors? Okay, I'll have to fix that. Oh, but this is working nice. I like this space. I think there's a hole here. Yeah, I think that's a hole. So it doesn't seal up in case of major flooding. This is looking good. Walk around here, climb up a little. Might have to duck a bit. All right. Oh, beautiful space. Oh my gosh. Oh, it looks nice. And what to do up here? I have no idea. But something has to be done. <laughs> what am I going to put up here? What am I going to put down there? What am I going to do with all that? Let's go take a look in the back. You know, want to check your engine. Something's wrong. Right on. Look at that. Can I hop in there? Ooh, kind of, kind of not. Ah, uh, I think I should put a ladder system up here or something. Because, uh, what if I want to get in there and really start fixing the nitty gritties? You know? But, um... Alright, alright. This is, this is actually looking pretty decent. Um, what if I go here and put steps? And, um, can I put this one? Or would that be pushing it? No, it seems like it's okay. I think this should allow us to get in without an issue. All right, you are looking pretty. Let's go check the back real quick. Make sure you're good. Button push. Oh, perfect. Now you can get in here and get things done. If you need to get things done, you need to fix something, you can fix it. Now, what these things are to be, I do not know. This is just so huge. What kind of stuff are we going to see here? Can a guy fit back here? Yeah, a guy can fit back here. So I can do something over here. Something special. I don't know how I'm going to decorate these rooms. <laughs> um, okay, maybe... Uh -huh. Okay, just to make it look more like, like a regular RV. Although the vertical thing was a decent idea. There. Can I have it here? And then we're going to... There. Very interesting. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Uh, I might have to put like a public restroom thing somewhere here bath i don't know exactly how i'm going to divide this but i know i have the rooms at the back kind of a just a enhanced bunk bed i don't know if i'm going to put anything here i mean i could put something here hmm. yeah i could which would be kind of interesting to do uh let me clean this out real quick and replace it with a uh just so I can maximize space here. Yeah, wedge. Give me a nice wedge. There you go. That should do nicely. I like that. See, now we got the main stuff settled. Now we're kind of dealing with a little bit of details. Just to smooth things out. This is all <laughs> work in progress. But ah, one important thing I forgot. Refueling. So let me go stick my head in here. This is the fuel tank. So let's go and put it here. Let's put an opening here. 
fluid port. No, not fluid port. Silly. I need a hose anchor. Hose anchor. Fluid hose. Okay. And then a fluid port. There we go. I go color coded. Green for fuel, if that makes sense. Okay, so we have a fuel bit there. Maybe we should add a uh, hose as well. What was it three blocks in length? Yeah, it was three blocks. There you go. Okay, let's go see how these uh, systems work. Nice. Nice. Okay, fuel, 99.84 RPS is at zero. Righteous, righteous makes sense. Turn this on. I don't have it connected to the RPS. Fuel, slow burning. How much did you burn in fuel? What the heck is happening? It's idling, but see, these are the s situations that come about that make no sense. Like, everything was working fine, but then suddenly this. I was like, why? It was, it was, everything was working okay. Not too long ago, was it, was it not? Everything was working so fine. Why is it now freaking out? It's, it's, it's like, I can hear it struggling, but I don't know exactly why. What, what is it struggling with? Let me just reposition where these air filters are or where the air is coming in. I'm going to try to go up top then, you know, let me just. Let me try taking them out from up top. Because something's... Maybe it's struggling... Struggling to get something. That's what I'm... That's what I'm noticing. So I think the fuel is going in just fine. I'm thinking it's struggling to get air. Fuel should be fine because I have it all ratioed out. Corns to throttle. And when I put it in, put in the, put a throttle in, it goes, okay, you're going to just use these air vents. Okay, that's your new air intake. You should be fine now. Can't be the clutch because the clutch is not engaged until it reaches the optimal RPS. And even then, okay, you idle healthily. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hold on. This is a discovery. This entire time, the poor engine was choking. The only reason why it was at 65 RPS is because it didn't get enough air. Now that it has enough air, it's free. Oh my gosh, this changes everything. Hold on. This entire time, I was making the poor thing suffer. Oh, you poor baby. I am so sorry for neglecting you. Okay. Go. Okay. Okay. Well, that's it's a bit of backtracking I had to do, but turned out okay. Alrighty. Then comes the big question now. What am I going to do with the rest? 
What's the rest gonna look like? Okay, so the way it looks, not bad. Some bits and bobs here have to be fixed. Um, this gearing bit looks good. Now coming with a new addition of a nice fancy uh, door in which you can access the engine components and such. Very nice, very nice. Interior does not look too bad. You walk in, it has a uh, very nice open area here. Not sure what to make of it. Four bedrooms, two down here. Nice and open. And two upstairs. Next time, we're going to go ahead and start installing an, a little electric grid systems to help uh, keep track of energy levels and such. And start looking at the cockpit area and putting all the necessary information there. Any other additional information like, um, I don't know, weather. Uh, I know there's going to be battery information, GPS of some sort. All of that, we're going to start going into coding. But for now, I bid you all adieu. Thank you guys for coming and enjoying this video. This has been Stormworks. I'm your host. Uh, okay, you know what? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with an outro, but. Subscribe.